you doing? How are I you? I couldn't be better. My wife cried on the television again. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, she oh. told me that you you blub up now really easily. This is what's happening in your household. Blob up. Blob up. <laughs> you know, you, you little... get teary from Shall time to time. Oh, Emotional yeah. lad, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. That's why the songs are so amazing on the new album. Oh, you're good. You've oh. got her really well trained. Really <laughs> well trained. If you really trained. want to know about this man, my lovely husband, all you need to do is get the album because every single song will either have you dancing around the room, crying your heart out, or just wanting to hug your young ones. It has everything on there that that digs deep. <laughs> Sure. Penny, Penny was telling us that uh, earlier we, we obviously were having a good old gossip because you were coming on, and uh, she was saying that basically it was sort of writing your autobiographies that got your creative juices flowing again because, and this is something that is quite difficult to believe for someone as, as talented and as successful as you, but you'd had, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd had a bit of a moment where you just thought, I don't know if I can write anymore. Yeah, there was a block, I suppose, you know, in the 80s, all the way through the 90s. But when the opportunity came to write the book, I had to meet with friends yeah. and family. You know, it's like you go down the pub, you have a drink, and you go, do you remember when we did it? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and I just wrote it all down and yeah. put it in but the darling, book. you're avoiding the question, really. <laughs> like, I, want, I want you to be honest about... Why it was that you had that block? Um, because you are really you, honest. You, you, well, you don't have to mention names. <laughs> you don't have no, no. no. You don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't have to mention names. But as you're saying, you're very confident, and of course, you've mm. been in the business a long time, and everyone would assume that nothing could kind of, you know, mess with Rod's ego or whatever. But you are just human, like all of us, and there was something that happened someone that said something that deterred you, that made you lose all your confidence? Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to do any and... talking in your house. No, no you don't. No, no there, I, I, I want to be honest with my friends yeah. here. Yeah. There was one record exec that said, you know, that song's no good, that song... And it's a big blow to your ego. You want the record execs to give you confidence. Yeah. This one didn't particularly. But also, I'm going to be really honest with you now, I was in love with my model railroad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's finished now, so I put all my energy into songwriting. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three years it took me to build it. So you, you're oh, not winding us up. You're not winding us up. No, really? no, no. It was no. A, it's a passion. Yeah, it really is. I'm actually making a documentary about it now. You know, Penny's been in it talking about the model railroad. But it's not like little trains going round and round. It's, yeah. it's amazing. It's a big know. city, isn't it? It's like a huge, it's a We've massive got a picture, estate. Actually, yeah. should we yeah. can we get the picture up? Oh, that's Andy. Do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was. Um, it this was a surprise. Rod and I had been together for four years. I'm thinking, what do I buy, Rod Stewart? And uh, knowing how much he loved his train layout. Um, he would often say, Penny, do you mind if I disappear upstairs? And I knew it wouldn't be for five minutes, it would be for four hours, but... I... As to make the trains, yeah. that is. Yeah. That is yeah. <laughs> That was yeah, too not asking you to go with him. No. <laughs> that never took five minutes either. But anyway, he was, he was, he was laying out his set and, 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 um, and doing all the intricate details, like the weathering of the building and the moss on the drain pipes and all of that thing, very intricate. And it allows him to escape from everything else going on. So I would always be completely accepting of him disappearing for four hours but to get on with that hobby. It, so what are you going to do now? Songwriting. Yeah, but yeah. Well, that's good. But you were doing that as no, well. Uh, no, I've got two. I've got eight kids all together, and yeah. two of them uh, are just. A, but they're all adorable. Mm. And you put the <laughs> foot in it, yeah, didn't they? <laughs> but the, the two, the seven-year-old and the twelve-year-old, really do take up a lot of my time. That's why I got my injured foot yeah. so I was playing football with them. Fatherhood but... must be... Has it been different, you know, because, obviously... What age is your eldest kid? Uh, Sean. Mm. Um, <laughs> Sean. Sean, who Getting on a little bit. Sarah, Sarah's... Uh, oh, yeah. Susan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, no, so she's, you... I think, 60 or something. So having new children can no, I come along? No, 60, 58. No, no, right, OK. <laughs> oh, 58! But yeah, you know what I mean? Have you, have you changed as a father, is what I'm saying? Oh, I'd hope so, yeah. Yeah, in so many ways. But because of all the age differences, you know, from 12 all the way through the 20s into 30s, 
I have to be like a different kid to all of them, a father to all of them. That's yeah. right, you are but, a kid as well. And I am a kid as well at heart. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you are, you are having your children at different stages in your life, so it stands to reason that you would be a different dad at, yeah. you know, at yeah. those different, yeah. different points Yeah, in obviously life. you can't treat the 12-year-old like you do the 26-year-old. Yeah, that yeah. would be weird. But the great thing, the two things I love about my kids is when I look at my phone, and it, they're, they're all on there. Stuart, 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 Stuart. They've all called me. It just yeah. makes me so nice. happy. And Are they, like, that, numbered they one to eight? eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and they invite me out to dinner. That's, That's what I nice. love. They invite, Dad, do you want to come out to dinner? I never invited my dad out to dinner because he was a plumber. <laughs> I loved him, but he wasn't, you know... <laughs> so when you met Penny, Penny were you always going to have children with Penny? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not that wasn't the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Penny shaking no, her head. Why is Penny shaking her head? I think initially you thought that that was the end of the road for you. No more marriage, no more children. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, cos... Uh, so know. I let that... I let that kind of let boil it for it, yes. Until you were ready to, yeah, yeah. to um, change your mind. Yeah. yeah. Why did you change your mind? <sighs> She's adorable. <laughs> you know, I just... Aww. I just come out of, you know, the marriage and it hurt, as you all probably know, and I needed a lot of time. I really did. I swore I was never going to get married again. And But this one is irresistible. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> she worked her magic on you.